I'm Sid Reyes, and I'm a writer, art critic, and publisher. In today's episode of Cultural Cash Online, I will be talking about the work by Evie Abeliana Kosho in the Cultural Center of the Philippines Visual Arts Collection, titled Lianto for Ignacio Sanchez Mejias. My earliest memory of this work is, I'm afraid, lost in the mist of time. Of course, as an actively practicing art critic then and now, I was a regular visitor to the CCP, where I became much familiar with the pieces in the collection. But in such encounters, what matters most, of course, is not the date. It is the impact, both the visual and emotional experience which the artwork registers and leaves its imprint in one's consciousness. Miss Evie, however, has been very much in the public's cultural consciousness, being the daughter of not one, but two national artists. The late Lamberto Abellana, the first double awardee for film and theater, and Miss Daisy Ontiveros Abellana for theater. Moreover, their daughter, Miss Evie, was a stage performer herself, having appeared in many plays, which I fortunately was able to watch. You know, a viewer's appreciation of an artist's work can be approached formally in terms purely of the work's merits. Many so-called formalist critics endorse this kind of approach not wanting to know anything about the personal or biographical aspect of the artist. I am of the opinion, however, that one's appreciation and understanding of the work is deeply enriched by some knowledge of how the artist came to be who he or she is and why she works in the way that she does. This work is a great departure from the traditional subject used by Miss Evie Avellana Kosho. Miss Evie, as you know, was a uh, traditionally an interpreter of Filipino themes. In, in her particular case, uh, she specialized in the use of the ancient Philippine writing, which we call Baybayin. Baybayin was our ancestors' means of communication because Baybayin is characterized by flowing curvilinear lines. They are in complete contrast to the style used by Miss Evie for her work in Lianto. She used what is called a hard-edged minimalist style that recalls the classic works of the German and teacher named Josef Albers, famous for his Square Within a Square series. What provoked Miss Evie to create this work, which translates to Lament for Ignacio Sanchez Mejias, was a reading of the poem by the Spanish poet Federico Garcia Lorca. An elegy to his friend, the Spanish bullfighter Ignacio Sanchez Mejias, who died inside the bullring or Plaza de Toros at five in the afternoon. Written, of course, in Spanish, there's the constantly repeated line, a la cinco de la tarde, at five in the afternoon, the time of the tragedy. Without actually showing the actual figure of the matador or bullfighter, Miss Evie used colors symbolically. In this case, red symbolizing blood and the matador's cape. Silver symbolizing the gleaming ornamented jacket of the dead matador. Well, and black, of course, is universal symbol for death and grief. The contrast between the red and the silver and the black is very dramatic. It is a trinity of contrasting and conflicting colors that at the same time complement each other. I would place Miss Evie's Lianto for Ignacio Sanchez Mejias within the tradition of minimalist aesthetics of Fernando Zobel, national artist Arturo Luz, and Lee Aguinaldo, where the elements of line, color, and shape are used in a highly disciplined and dispassionate manner. 
avoiding the excessive emotionalism of abstract expressionism or gestural painting, as exemplified, of course, for instance, by the style of national artist Jose Hoya. As Philippine art, or art anywhere in the world for that matter, has always been dominated by male artists, I feel it is also worth bearing in mind the great strides or advances made by our Filipina painters. Despite the centuries-old traditional expectations of women as homemakers, first and foremost, forever tied down to domestic duties, our Filipina artists have proven that they can respond to their vocation at the highest level of excellence. Without a doubt, with her superlative body of works, Ms. Evie Avellana Cosio is proudly one such Filipina artist. Thank you all for joining me on this episode of Cartel Cash Online. Thank you.